Good morning. Welcome to Grand Columbia. Here's your story. Let's begin. The water's fine. Come on, dive in. The future's here. It's right before you. Of course, next to the Grey Poupon, Sriracha Ketchup. Can't go anywhere in my race Rolls Royce without both of these. Today I'm going to do some Q&A for my Thursday video. First question, do they have vegan restaurants? Yes, there's a couple, just a short walk from my house. But a lot of places have vegan options. Now, why on earth you would want that, I have no idea. But um, yes, there are vegan restaurants, vegetarian, and uh, shouldn't be any problem for you. This was framed more as a statement, but inherently there was a question in it. And it's, in your videos, I noticed there's no bars on the windows. Well, some places there there are. And the older the building, the more likely it is to have those. Traditionally, in South America and Central America, you'll see walls and barred doors and barred windows. And in Ecuador, it's hard pressed to find any place that's not like that. You'll have very high walls. And at the top in the concrete, they put in uh, broken glass. So there's shards of glass. You can't go over the wall. There'll be concertina wire. At uh, my last house in Ecuador, in a beautiful neighborhood, <clears throat> but every place is walled. And I had wires at the top of uh, three levels, and they were electrified. And it was tied to an alarm system. Now, here in Armenia, you see newer buildings. There's much less concern about that because there's much less need for it. And that all costs money. If you're not having home break-ins, then how much do you need to put into that? So your observation is correct, and it isn't just in a ritzy, ritzy area. Is there an issue being African-American? I've gone over this several times. This is a race-neutral society. It's an actual melting pot. And I want to suggest go on YouTube if you're cons if you're interested in this topic go on YouTube and type in the search sly space Columbia uh, there's a man that's in Colombia he's been here for over a year he was in the military he's from the United States he's a black man and he's here I think on some kind of military pension or disability uh, doesn't make a lot of money and he goes from place to place trying to uh, I think find a home and he's probably late 20s early 30s would be my guess and he did a video in this within the last week on this exact topic and in about five minutes he just nailed every aspect of it so you know take a look at that what if you don't have a U.S. address? Also, if ultimately you're going to uh, get Social Security, you really should have a U.S. address and term your uh, travel here as vacation. Otherwise, you're going to fall into a category where you have to basically sign up again every year. Whereas if your address is in the United States, you don't ever have to do that. Uh, it's a proof of life kind of thing. So what if you don't have an address? Well, get one. You can rent one every month. It costs you about 20 bucks. You know, it's one way to do it. But you must have a friend, a relative, someone that you can just use as a permanent address. You don't need any more than that. And unless you get a lot of mail, you know, you, you, there's no purpose for it anyway. I never get letters anymore. And, you know, when you come down here, I mean, what's the point? Everybody uses email these days. 
you can pretty much opt out of paper and have it sent to you in email. So there's little to no reason to actually need an address except for the fact that things like banks or the government want to know your permanent address. So that's my suggestion. Just use a friend, you know, of course, get their permission and agreement that if anything comes in that um, they'll hang on to it for you. Someone asked me if you can get Campbell's soup. And the answer is yes. Although they will stack them like this tomato is behind the asparagus. But, yep, we got them. What is the coffee region? Uh, seemed like there was some confusion about it. The coffee region is the area that encompasses four departments and four cities, even though it's called the coffee triangle. It's Manizales to the north, Pareda, Armenia, which are almost next to each other, and then you've got Ibagué to the east. So if you take Pareda and Armenia and kind of call it one, and then you've got Manizales and Ibagué, you know, it makes up a triangle. So you have those four departments, and that really is the coffee country, the coffee triangle that I'm always referring to. Okay, here's one on renting. Again, all of these questions have been answered in videos in the past, but I think people step in and they, you know, watch a few videos, it raises questions, and they don't realize that maybe seven weeks ago I did a video on that. So you can go back and watch, you know, hundreds of videos and you'll get all this, but, uh, and that's a smart way to do it, of course. There's a video on renting recently, and it says, in Armenia, do you need a first and last and a cosigner? And my advice has always been, do not go through an agent, deal with the owner directly. If you go through an agent, you're going to need up three to six months of a deposit. Plus, you're going to need the first month's rent. Plus, you're going to need a cosigner, a cosigner of a native Colombian. I had an issue with, uh, I, I know people that would do that for me. I just have an issue putting that responsibility on somebody. So if you go with an owner, if he's hungry and he wants to rent his place, the rules are whatever he agrees to. And when I came for this place, he wanted the first month and he wanted six months down, which is what a lot of people are doing but he was going to waive the cosigner. Well, there's no way I'm putting six months down at the time I couldn't afford it anyway. But even if I could, I would not do it for a lot of reasons, but you live and learn and I wouldn't do it. And so we negotiated, we went back and forth three basic times and we ended up on first month's rent, a month and a half as a deposit and uh, no cosigner. So what you need to do is decide what your limits are and get with an owner and negotiate that. If you go with an agent, they will almost never uh, go back to the owner and try to negotiate back and forth. I was surprised the guy in a, in a video came up and just talked to you. Are you ever afraid? Uh, the answer is no. I've traveled my life and there's no point in having fear unless there's something you know, specific for that. I, I don't live my life in fear. But also, it would be, you know, I don't know, where do you, where do you live right now? Uh, where I lived was upstate New York. And if I were in Rochester in the city, and I was walking downtown to do something, and somebody walked up to me, and they just start talking to me, ask directions or something, would I be afraid? And no, of course I wouldn't be afraid. Why would I be afraid in Armenia, in the city that I'm living in? Well, what would be the point? You know, if a guy comes up, he's got a knife in his hand or a gun or something, you know, maybe I'd think about being afraid, but uh, probably not. I'd probably be angry, but it, it, it doesn't matter. But the idea is you see it as foreign and dangerous. I see it as home. And the last thing I'll cover, I'm going to throw some stats up. I get questions all the time about the YouTube channel 
and th this question was, you say that YouTube doesn't pay much anymore. How much have you made on YouTube? And so I went back and I could pull up stats for lifetime. Uh, how much have I made lifetime? And in four years, it's under $1,800. And of that $1,800, about $450 have been contributions through uh, the live coffee time. So you can see in four years, $1,800, this is not a money-making affair. As a matter of fact, I'm on my second month where I won't get any payment um, because I didn't reach a threshold. You have to have at least $100 before they'll send you a check. And this month, although the month isn't quite over, I've got a couple days yet, but it's only up to $73. And... Uh, you know, so it won't hit $100. And the same uh, for YouTube. If, if you're thinking about doing YouTube so you can, you know, live off it, uh, forget it. If you're doing YouTube, you really have to want to do it. You have to like doing it or you're wasting your time. And I'll show you other stats up here. And that's it. I'll see you at the coffee time.